Okay, and so for the ones who are using colored pencils, I, these are my very, very old colored pencil collection. Well, we have um, something good about using colored pencils is that we can have more control because obviously the tips can be um, smaller, okay? And that's going to work out. So the first thing that I want to do is to try to separate all the color palette in my case that I have a pretty big set I have so many options in your case I think that you should have the basic options and they will work out perfectly for you um if you see this is basically my color plaid plus black that my black it's so over here I think that I can also use this and maybe this one and let's see maybe maybe I can grab this one that it doesn't look like that, but this, this is more like the, the creamy one that I was using over here. And maybe this, oh, sorry, this yellow, that it looks like orange, but it's yellow and real, the real thing. And let's see, maybe I'm going to grab this. Okay, in my case, there are so many colors. Use whatever you have um, based on your own color palette. And... The principle, guys, is going to be basically the same. What we are going to work with is with layers, okay? I'm going to start with this area. That is basically this area, and it's very interesting because we have like a... If we start deconstructing all the colors that we see over here, we can see at least seven different colors or more, okay? So what I'm going to do is start saturating with my yellow. I'm going to start using this. It's a little bit like pale. If you don't have this very specific color, it's okay. Try to use just a yellow. But again, I want to try to start training your eye because this one is more or less like this one, okay? So again, I should start just making something like this. This uh starting to get a little bit dirty because of the oil pastels. Just um, every time... Uh, this is not um, just like the example of how to use the materials obviously um it's not very common to use both techniques in the same area let me check if i can do something with the lighting because it's not working out and it's not looking so saturated but the real thing it's like i'm saturating guys very important when you were little you did this Okay, and it's not something that it's wrong, but since we're talking about um, a thing that it's more textured, try to, again, try to start making like circles, not very big like traces. Try to have the control, okay? So like little circles, little, little circles all over, all over. And I'm just adding like crazy this pale yellow. Because remember, the first thing that I want to do is to saturate the paper with this one or a little bit of this one, okay? Then I will start saturating with, um, in my case, I think that this will work out. It looks like, like the same, but they are different. As you can see, this is a little bit brighter. And again, guys, I'm not making up anything. I'm just watching the original and then trying to... Whoops, it broke. Fun fact, sometimes when our colors are like, uh, they are like every time that we're drawing, it happens is that they break and you're actually like me, we're not pushing that much. That's because maybe the color fall down. You have to be very, very careful with your colors, guys. The, the thing here inside like this, if we keep dropping this pen colored pencil down, it will break inside okay so we have to just take care of our materials this is, the, this is the kind of stuff that nobody says us when we are little but now since we are a little bit more professional we need to understand the nature of the material that we're using okay so as you can see i'm trying not to have the lines okay try to avoid making lines try to make like small circles look uh the, the way and I'm, I'm i'm pushing down the collar oh my gosh yes definitely this is broken inside 
Okay, because yours are super new. My colors have like life, life my almost my my age. So it's highly possible that these are really really ruined, but yours should be like super new. Okay, so now I'm deciding to add just over this area. This is another color. And I will start saturating over here because I see that there's like a brighter yellow somewhere around here, but just a little bit. Remember, I'm watching over and over again my original so I don't uh, start making out things because that's one of the main errors we do when we start drawing something that we just start to um, make up things instead of watching the original and this part this area that I intentionally left it like a little bit like wider that's because I want to start saturating with my like brownish color okay remember guys it's layer by la layer little by little there are so many techniques like for example one of them is like making lines like short lines like this and then trying to make the other way around uh, like trying to make the color the other direction because the lines will disappear but in this case for me it's just too perfect I want you to actually try out the technique because you told me that you are not very used to color or it has been a long time since the very last time that you actually colored uh, something okay so I, I want I want you to try out the technique you can try out this one the one with the circles or you can try out the other one that it's again you can do something like this line one direction and you will start going the other way around and somehow um, it will disappear the, the lines will disappear mm, I think that we are missing a lot of um, lightning here lightning is not doing the job okay so basically I will start adding a little bit more color and that's what we call saturation again we are just saturating the same using a different technique than in this case is the colored pencils in this part I'm actually pushing a little bit more my hand because I want a stronger kind of texture and look at this how bright is going to uh, get over here because I didn't add the jello okay just be careful and it's okay guys I intentionally did not erase this part there's no actually there's no division in the real one it's basically this this division but I'm gonna leave it you can leave it too okay you can basically leave it there so it can help you to give you like um a correct like reference or like um like a guide okay basically guys it's the same principle coloring by layers making small traces having control of it please don't do this it's going to be a disaster and here I specifically want to saturate a little bit more not only with this color that is like a reddish kind of brick color I want to saturate with something a little bit darker in this case I'm gonna use this brown okay I'm gonna start saturating with this saturating with this brown for example by accident I just made like a different kind of trace it's okay this can be fixed just add a little bit more and it will do the job okay so basically that's it guys little by little be patient enjoy and I will give you enough time to finish this and as you can see this is a little bit more detail obviously because of the kind of shape you will um, have the chance to make more details but it's okay if you're using the oil pastels or you're using the colored pencil both are excellent choices okay 
Okay, guys, I hope this can help out to understand a little bit of many exercises that, remember, this is a crash course, so I am giving you, like, the summary of the summary so you can understand some of the concepts that we will be using throughout the semester and basically the whole year, and we'll be using them little by little, okay? Okay, guys, see you.